Well, we came here to um, like to shoot this um, this session with Jeremy for the next uh, movie called Further. Well, I wanted to um, show Xavier kind of what I think are like the most impressive mountains in um, the U.S. Basically, with Deeper, um, I went to these locations that I was really familiar with, and then um, kind of went one step further. Stuff that was tougher to. Um, tougher access and kind of got away from crowds and started spending like camping and stuff in the mountains and or like all-night approaches and stuff and further is an evolution in the sense of um, evolving into newer and newer terrain and always finding new terrain to ride. I spent about a month um, last year trying to ride some stuff in the Tetons um, for deeper and just weather um, didn't work out so I've kind of I, I do have this like list of lines that I'd love to hit in the Tetons that are still there and um, and so the goal was to try and you know on this trip was to try and tick one or two of those off. We had a really good setup here uh, Jimmy Sheen which is a like major huge alpinist from the North Face was here to be with us you know, the main objective was the Grand. Yeah, we're supposed to hit the Grand Teton, which is basically the main peak in the whole Teton range. Right yeah, it's this peak that I look at all the time from, I mean, you see it all of, anywhere in the Tetons, you're staring at the Grand. You never go into a big line just out of the blue like this. You really study a lot. You know that there's big consequence, so you really take everything in consideration to make it ultra safe and usually when you're at the top dropping in you know you don't have any worries about the snow condition it's also it's this big complex line so coming here the bigger the lines the more so that i go into it with the attitude of like there's a really good chance this may not happen and but if everything's perfect then who knows maybe we'll be able to stand on top of that thing and ride it just before we came like there seemed to be some really good windows coming up and and as like the closer we came in like uh, like from the first day and then the second day it just got worse and worse and yesterday we went up the mountain to to get this couloir which was like closer to the Teton so that was basically gonna give us a good idea on the conditions we hiked up for a long time which was uh, pretty good and and which gave like a really good hope for um, for the Grand Teton, for the main objective. We felt really comfortable with it until Jeremy went down, it was fine. And then on the way out on the lower faces, um, just saw the mountains just started coming down and um, it's just not lining up perfect for the Grand, so we're gonna pull the plug on that. <laughs> 